everyone, it's Alice, and today I thought we could talk a little bit about adventure books. I would say that adventure might be one of my favorite genres actually because when I find a really good adventure book I just absolutely love it and I do feel like I don't read enough in this genre. Mostly I struggle a little bit with finding the right type of book for me because I'm not interested in like all adventure books. I have read some really good ones in the past though and then I have a bunch on my shelves waiting to be read so I figured I would show you my favorites and then the books I want to read. So my faves are a mix of fiction and non-fiction and I might be applying the term adventure a little bit loosely to some of them because a lot of them do have an adventure in them but then there's also like other stuff going on if that makes sense. Anyways, first in my pile of recommendations, I have Washington Black by Essie Adugin. This is an adventure and a historical fiction novel, and it starts off in Barbados, where we meet an 11-year-old field slave who is chosen to be his master's brother's manservant, and this brother ends up taking this boy into this flying machine, and they end up fleeing all across America. I would say that this is a coming-of-age story wrapped up in an adventure and it discusses a lot of interesting themes. I remember just loving reading about the characters in here and seeing them and following them on this journey and this book takes us to all of these different settings which I loved and it's set in a time period where science and like discovery was huge which is really fun. Secondly, we have got a book I actually just read, and it is The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. This one is a historical fiction mystery, and it starts off in a Dutch colony in 1634, where a world-famous detective has been taken prisoner because he has been accused of something, and he is being transported from this colony to Amsterdam by ship. And on this ship are a bunch of other people and his loyal bodyguard and friend. And when they set sail, it becomes apparent that there's something like weird going on because these symbols of a demon keep appearing and it seems like this demon is intent on murdering everyone. This one is a bit of a long one, so just be aware of that, but I felt like this was the perfect mix between historical fiction, mystery, and adventure, and I just really enjoyed it. There is some like really dark stuff going on in here and it gets a little bit creepy, but it's very entertaining. Next, we have got the classic Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. This is a quintessential adventure book in my opinion and as I'm sure you're aware of, this is the story of Alice who falls down a rabbit hole and ends up having this amazing adventure in a place called Wonderland. I love this book, it's so weird and so whimsical and kind of unstructured in a lot of ways which is why I think some people don't get on with it and it can be a little bit confusing but it is an adventure for sure and it's really fun. It's like being inside of a weird like drug-fueled dream. Then I've got a book that is kind of similar to Alice in Wonderland in a lot of ways and it is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This is the story of a 12 year old girl who is just going about her ordinary life until one day a wind greets her in her kitchen and offers her to take her on this adventure because he needs help with something in a place called Fairyland. Off this girl goes and she has this amazing adventure that takes her all around this magical world. This is just a super fun book and the world it's set in is so wonderful and we get to see all of these different places and meet all of these different creatures and I would say that this is kind of like a mix between Alice in Wonderland and The Wizard of Oz. Next we have got a graphic novel that to be honest I feel like it's kind of a stretch to call this an adventure book but then I also feel like it fits somehow which is why I included it and it is Glass Town by Isabel Greenberg. This is a book about the Bronte siblings and the imaginary world they created when they were kids. And in this, we meet the Brontes, but we also go on all of these adventures in this imaginary world. This is just a beautiful book and the artwork is amazing. And it's just a really fun and creative and adventurous book at the same time as being like a little bit sad and a little bit 
melancholy. Then we have got two books that I guess are technically nonfiction, but they do tell of fictional tales. And in these tales, there is a lot of adventure, and it is Heroes and Mythos, both by Stephen Fry. These two books are part of Stephen Fry's Greek mythology retellings series. And if you know anything about Greek mythology, you will know that there is a lot of adventure there, and these books retell some of those adventures. I love these books. I think they're really fun, and they're easy to read, and they're kind of dramatic, but also very amusing. I think my favorite is probably Mythos. This retells the stories of the Greek gods and everything they got up to, which was a lot. And then Heroes is also great. This retells the stories of the Greek heroes, which is, I guess, maybe a little obvious from the title. <laughs> then I've got three fantastic nonfiction books, and the first one is one of my favorite books ever. It is Over the Edge of the World by Lawrence Burgreen. This is a history book about Ferdinand Magellan's daring circumnavigation of the globe in the 16th century. And if you don't know, at that point no one had ever traveled all around the world before. I absolutely love this book. This is one of the first like history adventure books that I read, and I remember just absolutely falling in love with it. I have even reread this book and it was just as fun the second time. And I feel like this is a great example of how interesting and like engrossing history can be if it's just like told right. Another book that is kind of like that one is The Lost City of Zed by David Gran. This one is also a history book, although this has a contemporary perspective in it as well, and it takes a look at what happened to the explorer Percy Fawcett when he went into the Amazon jungle in search of a lost civilization and then he never returned. This one is also super fun, and if you're like me and you like reading about exploration as well, you're gonna love this. I think the setting of the mystery is just fantastic. Last of my faves and recommendations is another one of my absolute favorite books, and it is Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. This is Krakauer's epic account of the May 1996 disaster on Mount Everest, which if you don't know, eight people lost their lives in that expedition. Krakauer lived through it though, and this is his experience of it, and it's just... It's very brutal, and it's pretty intense, and it takes you on this like epic and idealistic adventure that just ends up being absolutely horrifying. It's a very engrossing story, and sometimes you almost feel like you have a hard time breathing because you're just like so into it. Now moving on, we're gonna take a look at my little stack of adventure books that I want to read. And this is like a mix of historical fiction and nonfiction and just straight up action adventure. And like I sort of mentioned, I do have a little bit of a hard time finding books in this genre that I want to read. I'm kind of specific about what I want. I mostly want to read adult books and I like that they're historical fiction, but I also like contemporary ones. And I find that mostly what's available is like YA adventure, which I'm not that interested in, and fantasy adventure, which I like, but is a whole different genre in my mind. And I would love to know if any of you have any recommendations, like please give them to me. You can think like movies like The Mummy and Tomb Raider and then some of the stuff that goes on in like Dan Brown's books, like that's what I'm looking for and I'm having a really hard time finding books like that. I am also aware that there is a lot of like adventure available in like the middle grade genre and I do actually have one of those on here. And I like reading those, but I mostly want to read like adult adventure books. So first up in my TBR stack, we have got Sandstorm by James Rollins. This is a thrillery mystery type adventure, I think, and it's about these two women who after an explosion occurs in a museum in London, they go on this adventure searching for answers. And this leads them somehow to this like lost city in the desert, I think. And this is exactly the type of thing that I'm looking for, and I'm really hoping that this is going to be good. This is also the first book in a series, which means that if I like this, I can move on to reading all of the other books. Secondly, we have got Crocodile on the Sandbank by Elizabeth Peters. This is a historical fiction mystery novel set in the late 1800s, and it's about this headstrong woman who goes on an adventure to Egypt to solve a mystery that has something to do with like mummies or something. 
I got this book because it was on like a list of like if you like The Mummy the movie you might like this book. Then we have got Seven Deadly Wonders by Matthew Riley. This book starts off with this legend that says that some disaster is going to occur every 4,500 years and we meet a team of heroes trying to avoid this from happening. This also seems to have something to do with like the pyramids which I feel like is a very common occurrence in adventure books. Next I have got a book in Norwegian and it is Sirklens Enne by Tom Egeland. This book is often referred to as the Norwegian Da Vinci Code and the story is about this ancient manuscript hidden in this golden artifact and this man who is determined to find this thing. And apparently this story takes us to like London and France and the Middle East and all kinds of places which sounds really cool. Then we have got a middle grade book which is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This story is about three sisters who go on a quest to break a curse that haunts their family and I think their family lives on an island that they can't leave or something and there's something about a prisoner and some magical artifacts and obviously there's a curse which sounds really fun. Lastly, I have two non-fiction books and the first one is one in Norwegian and it is Kontiki Expedition by Thor Heyerdahl. Heyerdahl was a Norwegian explorer who in 1947 set off from the coast of Peru on a raft intending to reach Polynesia. He did this to prove a theory that he had which turned out to be incorrect but it was still a very daring adventure and I think it's going to be really fun to read like a first-hand account of this experience like, I have no idea how these people survived. Lastly, we have got Endurance by Alfred Lansing. This is a history book that takes a look at the story of the British explorer Ernest Shackleton, who in 1914, I think, tried to reach the South Pole. This gives me very much the same vibes as like Over the Edge of the World and The Lost City of Said, which is very promising. And I've heard that this book is fantastic. Okay, everyone. That was a lot, those were a lot of books, but we've made it to the end and I would love to know if you are also a fan of adventure books and what your favorite is, or if you have any like adventure books sitting on your shelves that you're excited to read, tell me all about it. Links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description as usual if you're interested and I will see you soon. Bye.